Okay guys, I am back with the first um, cover here. And um, yeah, so I've been kinda working some different things around. So, um, this is just a placemat I got from the dollar store. Um, so a dollar. Um, what I'm having trouble deciding is how I want it to look because this isn't gonna be quite wide enough to cover those extra flaps. So I think we're gonna go just straight across, but we're gonna do something a little funky because it is what it is, right? So I'm gonna take my pinking shears. Um, I don't even know if that's what everybody else in the world calls them, but that's what I grew up calling them. So that's what we're gonna call them. So I think that this is how it's gonna go. <laughs> I reserve the right to change my mind at any given time. So I'm just gonna try to use the lines of the fabric and then we'll kind of adjust as needed. Um, and we're gonna use both sides, the, um, the back side of this. And I'm gonna save these because I bet you we can do something cool with those as far as like um, maybe some pockets or something so yeah so i hope you guys are all doing well um i am just uh, crafting today and filming videos um it is snowing like crazy and i'm recording it the same day as i did like the final flip through of that other one and the starting of these covers so oh it look i just looked out the window and it looks like it has subsided a little bit so yeah, and I'm gonna take off all four corners at the moment just to separate it all out. Um, I know that the, the length and width and stuff is gonna change once we have it kind of glued and centered where we want it. But, um, and we're not gonna do the full cover like decorating. It's all gonna be kind of a step-by-step -step process here. Um, like I said, since I'm doing, oh gosh, that's a little tough. Ooh. Yeah, so anyways, step-by-step -step process of each one. So you'll see, you know, the start of each each journal cover one day, like one a day, so to speak. Um, and then we'll kind of go back through it. So we're kind of, in essence, doing a, a assembly line technique. Um, so yeah, because um, there's no way for me to do it all in one day as far as like gluing all of them and then having you know yeah <laughs> you guys know how it is um I get rid of some of this little crumbs so yeah Gracie's college classes got canceled Christian's work closed for the day. Oh, look at that. It's kind of lying too. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Though if I had my choice, I would have preferred it to be lined on the other side when using the Fabri-Tac. Whew, boy, that's made a mess, hasn't it? So yeah, so probably like every third or fourth day, we'll get back to one specific one or once it's together, maybe we'll just decorate it all in one. Um, but for now, we're just gonna create all the covers. And then I think, um, I'm gonna go ahead and link uh, Amy at Crafty Cat's channel down in the description box too, because one of the videos, um, well, a couple of things. She has a Let's Do Tea kit, and I might be using some of that. And then also, um, she's got, uh, a stencil that I'm going to be using on some of the dyed papers that I do. So kind of what I'm going to do is decide which way I want the fabric this way. So I'm going to kind of uh, plate, put my glue on and place it down like so. Um, for this beginning part, I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, use Fabri-Tac for the inside part of the um, journal, since it's black, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, a little bit different glue, so. Yeah. 
up. So I'm going to make sure I hit the corners pretty good. So yeah, um, Christian's office closed, but yet he still had a bunch of like conference calling. So he's hanging out today with us. And uh, he's such a sweetheart. He went and got us all breakfast and then Bo jetted off to work and Gracie, I'm not sure what she's doing, but her college classes got canceled today, so she might be reading. That's usually what that girl does. She's an avid reader. to have a lint roller and it looks like I got I think I was trying to see what it would look like with the inks in December because I, I got quite a few of these and this will actually end up being a Christmas cover too once we get back into that season so so you guys will know that one is coming and I'm eyeballing this because I don't know that there's any great way when you're using pink insures to kind of know and I'm not wrapping it, so it's going to be extra on the edges. Okay. I don't think that I'm overly worried if it's not quite even, just given the, uh, the uh, theme of the journal. that's kind of the look I'm going for. Okay, those out of the way. I'm gonna have to vacuum up my area. <laughs> okay, drop this cut down and then we'll uh, lay the black on there. And then remember, we don't fold anything on our journals until the glue is 100% dry. So that said, I am going to, and I just threw those away. I'll have to take those out of the trash. I was like, I just threw them away. Boy, I'm a goofball sometimes, huh? Just trying to see which one was the right side and wrong side, but I don't know that there is a right or wrong side. Okay, now, kind of what I'm thinking, is I'm thinking that I want a small lace border around it. So, let's see, what do we got here? I don't know if I have enough of this left. Okay, that looks like I do. I'll have just barely enough. Okay, so instead of putting this black down right away, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this in there. Right up to the edge. I'm hoping that I'm still in, in frame. Um, though. I don't know that you're going to be able to see it. Maybe. I know. I just bent up the cover. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I know. I just got done telling you about that, right? And you know what? I'm feeling kind of lucky today, so maybe we'll go ahead and try to figure out if we can. Uh... I 
Um, where's my actual fabric scissors? There they are. Um, if we can use that black, the, um, oh geez, um, the uh, Fabri-Tac on this, which I don't think that I will. Um, but I hesitate to use the other stuff because it, um, and by other stuff, I mean the, uh, <coughs> sorry, tacky glue. My goodness. I think these um, these journals are going to end up being extra in a lot of ways. <laughs> Let's see if I can scoot it up a little bit. Oh shoot, I just thought of another problem I might end up having. And that is I have to make sure I don't cut the lace when I uh, go to put the topper on to cut the top piece. Does that make sense? Unless, unless I only put it, like actually measure this out and cut it down. That might be what we do. That just might be what we do. There's always a fix, right? Or I can measure the outside of the... Oops, I already got a fetus. Now what I'm looking for is to make sure that I didn't, um, go too far in one direction or another. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I like that. And then I'll take this side, actually probably do that now, and I'm going to put glue on these flaps so it kind of stays together. I'm just adhering it to the lace. Like so. And really this particular lace didn't come from the dollar store, but you could get the dollar store lace and do the exact same thing. So really, I mean, you could end up having only a couple of dollars in on your, on your uh, cover, you know? And I know that's a little bit messy, but all right. So here's what I'm thinking so that we don't get all messed up here. Um, let's see, this cover roughly measures this part here. 14 and a half um, by thread that fabric to nine and a half. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside for a minute and I'm going to do my very best to cut this 
I use this side to kind of measure. Trying to pick the straightest sides. Nothing straight, you know. Not in junk journaling anyways. Okay, so. I'm gonna take this. Kind of try to mark that with a little white crayon. I don't know. It's kind of like a canvasy. So I don't know how well that's gonna work, but. And I can't see it, and so I'm almost certain you won't be able to see it either. So, in for a penny, in for a pound, we're just going to take it, and then if we need to trim a little more, then we'll trim a little more. Okay, let's see what we got so far. It's close. Like I said, it's I'm not gonna like dwell on it too too much. Mostly because I mean the fabric itself is shifty. So let's see how much I need to take this end. Looks like about an inch. Uh a little over an inch. Okay, so I'm gonna start and then And I'm kind of eyeballing. Okay, so close. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect, and that's okay. I think we'd all like to strive for perfection when it comes to junk journaling, but alas, it doesn't always happen. As long as we're close, we'll call it a day. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Um, I'm going to take off just a little bit more. However, I think I'm going to fold it in half to see how that works. I'll probably regret it, but you know. And right this second, I'm just really worried about um, the ends or the top and bottom. I think I want this down just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Just a skosh. And then we'll take just a skosh off the edges. Like this right here. a tiny bit off of this. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at all that mess. Gotta get the dust buster up here. I don't even know if I have, like, I'm pretty sure nobody has a dust buster anymore. 
<laughs> like if you do, you should totally tell me because that would be funny. Like not funny, haha, -ha, just funny like I haven't heard anybody having a dustbuster in so many years. Okay, I like that. I am liking that. Okay. Now, I am going to do the fiber tack and I'm going to do this half at a time. Now, with fiber tack and dark colors, you little at a time, little dabble do ya. And don't leave any glops because the glops will seep through dark fabric. So see how I'm just putting it real lightly? And then I'll kind of come back and not, not leave any bumps anywhere. And instead of dragging and pulling, I'm just going to pat down. And then getting when we get to the edges, like I did before, then we can put it more securely, if that makes any sense. Okay. And I'm not going to pull, I'm going to pat. Pat it down into place. And so far, I don't feel any glue seeping up, so yay, we win. And then I'll lint roller it a little bit later. And I'll wait till it's like dry, dry to like go back over and seal out any of those edges I might need to seal. All right, so let's see, cap the glue. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to do some cleaning before I try to film the next video. Holy cow, boy did I make a mess. <laughs> I mean, it's everywhere. All of the that black fuzz is everywhere. All right, sorry, I had to clean up a little bit before I flip this over. All right, so. This is the start of our journal. Yeah, so like I said, I have to lint roller it to get all that fuzz out of there, but. All right, and again, I'm not gonna do any folding of it until I am 100% sure that it is like 100% dry. So I'm gonna set this over in the other direction. Then I will start the next video in the series. So, all right guys, thank you for joining me today and I will just see you in the next video. Bye guys.